Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Swapna here. Hope you all are doing well. So for this Christmas season, I'm making few candle holders. And in this video, you will be seeing how I painted these three candle holders. These are really small square shaped candle holders which I bought from IKEA. Since the surface is really small, I'm taking few simple freehand designs to draw on these. And I'll be drawing the design on the outer surface using three different glass liners. If you're a beginner who is trying out to draw on these curved surfaces for the first time, I would definitely recommend to take it slow. That is draw the design on each surface, let it dry thoroughly and then proceed to the other side. Here I'm drawing a simple floral motif. And once I finish the first side, I'm just drawing the design on the adjacent side so that I can easily rest the surface. So once these two sides are finished, I let it dry thoroughly and meanwhile I'll start drawing the design on the second motif. And later I'll come back to finish the rest two sides of the first candle holder. And once that is drying, I'll finish the other one as well. I think this is a really practical way to complete all the four sides of both the candle holders without spoiling the design. If you're planning to paint on multiple candle holders, the best way is to take turns. That is finish each side at a time and then proceed to the other candle holders meanwhile the other side is resting that is how i usually prefer to do it but since i am taking the video of this making i thought of splitting it into stages and showing it in one stretch so now we are almost finished with the outlining part and we let it rest thoroughly before adding the paint I'm using various paints from Pepio, Glass Art and Camel. I'll add the details about the paints in the description below. You can feel free to use any shades from any brand according to the availability.
So basically for this candle holder I am using a dark purple shade and a silver shade and apple green shade and this is how I finish one side of each of the candle holder. After drying the whole painting dry thoroughly, I am adding the details using a silver glass liner. You can repeat the same procedure for all the four sides and this is how the final result is looking. Now we'll move on to the second candle holder and I'm using a copper shaded glass liner for this. Here again I'm drawing a simple freehand design with straight lines. If you are a beginner, as I suggested earlier, please complete design in one side first and let it rest thoroughly before starting the other. Since this is a really smaller sized candle holder, I feel it comfortable in drawing the design in one stretch. So this is how I finish the outlining part. I'll be following the same procedure of applying the paint in one side first. For this candle holder, I'll be using four different shades. That is a transparent yellow shade from Glass Art, the ceramic yellow from Pebio, and also Pebio Vitrail Turquoise and Emerald. As I always say, I prefer to apply the paint using the skewer or a toothpick which makes my cleaning part much easier. So this is how I apply paint on each side of both the candle holders and then I let it dry otherwise the paint will flow over the lines. Now the side is thoroughly dried and I'll add details using black and copper glass liners. This is how vibrant it looks after the painting and detailing. Now let's begin with the third candle holder. I am using this black glass liner from the brand Camel. And here also I am using a really easy floral pattern. Once the outline part is thoroughly dried, I am adding the paint. I am using this pink shade from Glass Art. Also I will be using a dark purple shade 
and the violet shade from the brand Camel. Once the painting is finished, I let it dry thoroughly before moving on to the other side. This clip was taken when each side of those three candle holders were kept to rest. Now I'll move on to add details using this copper liner. Even though this one was really easy to paint, it looked gorgeous at the end. Hope you all enjoyed watching the making of these three pairs of candle holders. Do try this out for your Christmas decorations. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment and share this video and please consider subscribing this small creative family by pressing that subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon for more interesting and unique arts and crafts videos. Thank you.